how to adjust talkback settings on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. Then, swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. Next, in the settings page, we scroll down and tap on accessibility, then tap on talkback. In here, at the top, you can tap on the toggle button to turn on or uh, switch off talkback. Down here is the talkback shortcut. You can tap on it to turn it on or switch it off. Okay, when you turn it on, tap on the left hand side panel. In here are the three different shortcuts that you can assign talkback. So you can add talkback to the accessibility button. That is the button down here. By turning it on, you can tap on the accessibility button. And from here, you can you can turn on talkback. So you can tap on that, double tap, then tap on talkback and double tap Not back off. to switch it off. Another way to use the talkback shortcut is to press side and volume up buttons. Side and volume up button. Make sure you select this option, otherwise it will not add it. It will not add the shortcut to the menu. So select press side and volume up buttons. Here we can press side and volume up button. So press and let go. And here is the menu. And lastly is the press and hold on, on volume up and down buttons for three seconds. So volume up and volume down. Press on both keys simultaneously for three seconds. And this will bring up a menu for talkback. So those are the three main shortcuts that you can use to activate talkback. Next is the settings menu. So tap on settings. In here, you'll be able to adjust your talkback settings such as text to speech. So you can change your talkback language and prefer engine, talkback engine. So here you can select the default Samsung text to speech engine or speech recognition and synthesis from Google. So select one of the options. When you select a, a um, preferred engine, tap on the settings icon. In here, you can customize your text to speech engine. After that, you can change the language and the speech rate. So you can change the talkback speech rate. This is an example of speech that is in English. That is way too fast, so you can lower it down. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. If it is still too fast, you can still slow it down. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Or you can just tap on the reset button to set it back to the default. So here at the pitch. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. You can lower down the pitch. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Or tap on the reset button to reset it back to default. And then tap on the back key to go back to your top back settings. In here, you can also change the verbosity. So tap on that. And you can choose a preset. So we've got high, custom, or low. If you choose high, then most of the items are turned on. And down here are some of the items you can customize. You can also change the preset to low. Then when you select low, then most of the items will be turned off and some of the items can be switched on. If you choose custom, sorry, if you choose custom at the top, then you can customize each of the items in here, such as speak usage hints, speak list and grid info, always speak number of list items, speak element type, speak window names, speak notifications when screen is off, use pitch changes, speak letters with examples, Keyboard echo, on-screen keyboard, tapping on that will allow you to choose none, characters, words, or both characters and words. The same for physical keyboard. And here, tap on capital letters. You can choose um, the font to do nothing or to say capital, change pitch, or play sound. And here we can speak or progress updates, speak elements IDs, speak punctuation and symbols. So you can customize your verbosity from here. Then we can tap on the back key. 
Next is the sound and vibration. And here you can make adjustment to vibration feedback, audio ducking. This will lower down the volume of other audio playing when talkback speaks. You can also turn on or turn off talkback sound feedback as well as changing the sound feedback volume. So in here, it can match the speech volume or set it to 75% of speech volume, 50 or 25% of speech volume. And we go back. Next is the customized focus. In here, you can choose to turn on or switch off thick borders. So thick borders is this one right here. So if I turn on talk back, you can see that shows thick border. So if I turn off thick border, that is the thin border. And here you can also change the color of the border. Green, so we can choose green border. So that's up to you. Talk back off. Okay, so next you got customized gestures. And here you can change swipe up gesture. So you can choose when you swipe up, you can choose what to do, activate, tap to assign, previous item, next item, yeah, a lot of uh, options for you to select. So you can browse through the list here and choose what is best for you. You can change it to swipe down, change swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, then down, swipe down, then up, and so on in here. So many options that you can change and customize. If you mess it up, you can always tap on the reset gesture settings and that will reset everything back to the, the default. Next is the automatic, um, sorry, next is the customized menus. In here, you can customize talkback menu. So in here, we've got uh, spelling suggestions, actions, links, page navigations, add or edit labels, this right image, and so much more down here. And then you got the customized reading controls. So this is reading controls. And here we got automatic descriptions. Here we got describe icons. So if you don't need to describe icons, you can turn it off. And we got describe text in images. And then if we go down to the next section is the braille. So we've got braille keyboard, braille display. So braille keyboard, you can set up braille keyboard, review all gestures, change braille keyboard languages, and so on. And we've got braille display. So this is the braille display settings. And then finally, you've got advanced settings. In advanced settings, you can change the audio speak passwords. So you can have your password uh, always speak aloud uh, when you wear headphones. You can change cust uh, you can make custom labels, uh, single tap to activate. So if you don't want to double tap to activate an item, so you can turn this on so that uh, when you tap on the item once, it will activate. And then you can change element description order. Time format, you can set the time for to 12 hour or 24 hour. And here you can also turn on or switch off, reduce window announcement delay. And you got typing preference, touch and hold delay when typing, keyboard shortcuts, developer settings, and so on. And that's it. So that is how you can adjust your talkback settings on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.